I found this flat file cabinet for cheap a year ago. I knew I wanted to transform it into a toolbox, but in an absolutely shocking twist of events, I immediately put this project aside before starting 32,000 brand new projects. This gave me the ability to procrastinate this project for over a year. This aptness to procrastinate projects by starting more than I can finish is an ability I cherish greatly. I named my cute little ability Unmedicated ADHD. It can be problematic, but it also makes me hugely productive in the least productive way possible. I had a lot of plywood scraps I was able to reuse from a customer project, which worked out really well. The first drawer I'm making is for my machinist tools. The drawer bottoms on the file cabinet have bends in them to make them stronger, But for this I need them to be flat so I'm screwing the plywood from the bottom of the drawers. I want the tools to have compartments for the machinist drawers, but I'm not sure exactly what I'll be keeping in here so I'm keeping the compartments very generalized and not for one specific tool. The compartments all glued together with a set of grooves cut on the table saw, which glues very quickly and it's very strong. I'm lining the machinist drawer bottoms with green felt. The green is very classical to machinist toolboxes from back in the day, and the felt itself helps to hold everything in place as I open and close the drawers. It works really well. I get the felt from eBay straight from China. It's really the cheapest way to get it. I made a second machinist drawer off camera. I don't have a lot of tools for this one right now, but I'm gonna have some in the future. I've been keeping my drill bits in multiple different compartments, so I'm gonna make one drawer to contain them all, and I'm also gonna add some spots for different tooling, such as lathe tooling. I'm reusing the holders for the Forstner bits from the original box. The plywood is bizarrely thin, it's probably less than 1 16th. I finished the machinist drawers with shellac, which looks really good, but it's quite long, so I decided to move to a water based floor varnish, which is a much quicker way of finishing. It doesn't need to be pretty, it just has to be more robust and not to get dirty, so it's fine if it doesn't look so good. This drawer is particularly heavy, and I fear it might be too heavy for this file cabinet. Only time will tell. The drawer sides are definitely beefy enough, but I fear that the folded sheet metal that isn't welded might not be quite as strong. Next is the sandpaper drawer. I actually bought more grits of sandpaper just to make this more satisfying. It's probably my favorite drawer so far.
It works really well, and it absolutely pleases my need for organized storage. Finally, I'm making storage for my mechanic tools, a drawer for them. I kept these in the original carrying case for a really long time, but I always find it such a hassle to pull out from under my workbench and to use. The case just gets in the way too much, so a drawer will be much better. Not to mention that I hate those inflated plastic cases. There's obviously a lot more drawers in this file cabinet, but for now I'm just going to leave them as regular drawers. Some of them also don't open super smoothly, but for 20 bucks I'm not complaining. At one point I plan on making a workbench to go around this file cabinet to support my new metal lathe. And yes, for those not following me on Instagram, I did get a brand new metal lathe. Well okay, it's more from the 50s, but I did a full restoration and it works great. Which should let me over complexify my projects even more in the future. I have some more videos coming soon. The next one should be on this piece of furniture and how I made the sliding doors and the drawer. The drawer will have some mechanics to make the handle retreat within the drawer and to make the drawer go into the cabinet. It's hard to explain but it's a really exciting project. It should be noted that other types of file cabinets work really well for the workshop. They're designed to take on a lot of weight and are super easy to find for really cheap when you get them used. As usual, thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and if you want to support it yourself, you can simply share and like this video, or you can donate on my Patreon or check out the tools I make and sell. Well that's it for this video, but if you guys have anything going on with your workshop storage, I would love to hear about it. Not that I'm a nerd for storage, because that would be super... Just leave it in the comments, I'll, I'll check it out. Thanks.